Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today, I'm going to go through a quick install of Arch Linux using the automated installer and my post install scripts. So, let's get to it. So, right now, I booted up onto the live ISO of Arch Linux, and it's the ISO from December 1st, 2024. And the first thing I'm going to do is set font tier 122B. Ah, uh, that's better. And I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to do vim etsy pacman conf. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to get rid of this verbose package list. And I'm going to activate the parallel downloads and the verbose package list. And I'm going to save the file and quit. And I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to do pacman etsy pacman d mirror list and i'm going to make america package build the first one because i know it's a good mirror because i checked it out on the website before i turned the camera on and the same thing with constant i know it's in good condition so i'm going to paste it there and you know what i'm going to get rid of the rest of the mirrors and i'm going to delete them now i'm going to delete that one too there you go and i'm going to i'm going to save this right and i'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to sync my mirrors. Pacman S Y Y. And let's see if they sync fast. And they did. And now I'm going to go into Arch install. I'm using the automated installer. And I'm going to go to locales. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go to local language. And I'm just going to go up to English Canada. And then I'm going to go back and get it out of there. And I'm going to skip the mirrors because I already set them manually. This configuration, partitioning. Use best effort. I'm going to use my space bar and put a X there. It's a 50 gig hard drive. It's a virtual machine, of course. I'm going to make it EXT4. And I'm going to go back. And I'm going to skip uh, disk encryption. Swap, I'm going to say no. I'm going to disable swap because I don't like it. Bootloader is good. I'm going to skip unified kernel images. Hostname is good. Uh, root password, I'm going to put a root password in. I'm going to put it in again. And I'm going to skip user account. I'm going to do that after the fact. I'm going to skip profile because I'm going to use my post install script from a GitLab repository. Uh, I'm going to skip audio because that's going to go in after the fact. Kernel is good. Network configuration is use network manager. And then additional packages. I'm going to do a vim git and terminus font. And let's go down to time zone. I'm going to do Canada Eastern. And that's it. And I'm going to hit install. Would you like to continue? Yes. And I'm going to pause the video and come back in five minutes when this is finished. And of course, this is. Right now, I'm just doing a base install. And then afterwards, I'm going to use my post install scripts to install all my favorite apps, window manager, and test desktop environments. Okay? So don't go away because I'm going to be back. Okay. So that took less than five minutes and I never even got out of my chair. So would you like to shoot into the system? I'm going to say no. And down here, it says... Everything worked. It completed. You're ready to reboot. So I'm going to reboot. And now it's rebooting. I might pause it for a second just while it's rebooting. And this is a virtual machine. So I'm going to have to make this full screen again. I'm going to hit enter. And it won't take long to reboot because uh, I didn't encrypt the system. And now we're in the TTY. So, so I didn't make a user yet. So I'm going to have to log in as root. I'm going to put root's password in. And first thing I'm going to do is change the font. That Font tier dash 132B. Let's try that one. Ah, nice. And now I'm going to go into Vim Etsy Pacman dot conf because the changes I made in this file at the beginning of the video, they don't carry over into the install. So I want to activate verbose package list and parallel downloads. And I'm going to save the file. And the mirror list 
does copy over, but I'm going to check it. So let's do uh, Vim, Etsy, Pac-Man, period D, mirror list. I just want to make sure it copied over, and it did. I got the two mirrors that I like to use. They're two of my favorite mirrors. And let's quit out of there. I don't need to write it. Let's just quit. Let's clear the screen. I'm going to make a user. I'm going to type in user add dash m mitch password without the o and without the r mitch. I'm going to put mitch's password in. I'm going to retype it. And now I'm going to give mitch sudo privileges. I'm going to do uh, vim etsy sudoers. And I'm going to do a search for a root. Here we are here, and I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to delete root, and I'm going to put mensh in there. And I'm doing, I'm giving mensh sudo privileges the unorthodox way. Because you know why? Because I'm a rebel. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to save the file. Well, I got to save it this way. Okay, now it's saved. I'm going to exit out of there. And I'm going to log in as Mitch. I'm going to put Mitch's password in. Now I'm going to, if you look here, there's no files or folders, right? So I'm going to make a .config folder. I'm going to do make dir, make directory, .config. Now I'm just going to make sure it's there. Oops. Let's do it this way. And it's there. .config. In the blue. Now I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to download my GitLab repository and use my post install script to install all my favorite apps, window managers, and desktop environments. Let's do uh, git clone https colon slash slash gitlab.com artibus one slash mench dot git. I did it right? Yeah, I did type it right. And I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to CD into my mensh folder that I just downloaded. LS it. I'm going to CD into my arch folder. LS it. And I'm going to vim into this auto app really quick. And I'm going to set numbers, set and you. And I'm going to go to the bottom. So there's 88 lines here. These are all my favorite apps. Desktop environments, window managers, and all kinds of things. It's my post install script. Okay. So let's go to the top. And I'm going to close it. Let's just get out of there. I don't need to save it. And I'm going to run that script. Period slash auto. And I'm going to put Mitch's password in. And I'm going to just select all, 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 all. There we are. And we're downloading 664 files or packages. So this takes a, a good five minutes. I'm going to pause the video and come back. So don't go away. And that part finished. And that didn't even take five minutes. It took about two and a half minutes. I never even got it out of my chair. So I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to LS it again. And this time I'm going to go into, I'm going to vim into my run configs file. And I'm just going to set and you. And this is the file. There's 27 lines. It's going to set the firewall. The firewall has now been installed because it was installed from the last script that we ran. And so was LightDM, the login manager or the display manager. So this file is going to set my firewall. It's going to set my Bluetooth. It's going to set LightDM, the login manager. It's going to copy some wallpapers over and set some other things. And it's also going to copy my Zest configuration file over. My i3 window manager file over, my Qtile file over, and my awesome configuration file over. So now I'm going to get out of here. Let's just get out of this file. And this one's really fast. I'm just going to run this script, period slash run, hit enter, and that's done. Now I want to see if my Zest configuration file is working, and it is. And now I'm going to switch into root, and I'm going to put root's password in. And I want to make sure that my Zesh configuration file is working in root. And it is. And now I'm going to make Zesh my uh, default shell rather than bash. 
So I'm going to vim. Let's see the editor there. I'm going to vim into Etsy password without the O and without the R. And I'm going to go to the end of line one. I'm going to type in sesh. And I'm going to go down to line 18, or actually here, line 20, where it says mensch. And at the end of the line, I'm going to type in zesh. And now I'm going to save the file. And now I'm going to reboot. And if everything worked, we're going to reboot into LightDM, the login manager, or as it's properly called, the display manager. And there we are. It worked. So if we go up to this icon right up here, we can see I have the Cinnamon desktop. I have the Qtile window manager. Oops. I have the Qtile window manager. I have the awesome window manager. And I have the i3 window manager. The Cinnamon desktop is not configured. You can configure it yourself because I don't have a configuration file for Cinnamon. But the Cinnamon desktop is easy to configure because it's all user friendly and it works in the GUI. But my Qtile configuration file. And my awesome configuration file and my i3 configuration file are already installed when I ran that second script. So the first script installed the window managers and that second script installed my configuration files. So you know what? I'm just going to go into the awesome window manager. Okay. And I'm going to type in my password. And there we are. Now what I'm going to do is the volume control is blackened out. I'm going to go to preferences. I'm going to go to status, icon theme, I'm going to show slider, and I'm going to take this default and I'm going to go white gnome. There we are. And now I'm going to close this. And there you go. And you know what? My resolution is off. Why? I don't know. <laughs> and my Zest configuration file is working. So I'm going to go into my uh, config and you know what? I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to delete that or activate that line. I'm going to save it. And there we go. I restarted my window manager and there we are. And we have Firefox and all kinds of apps installed. And there's Firefox. And everything you need is installed in here for music, for videos, uh, Firefox, the ad blocker. If you look at the list, the first script that I installed, downloaded and installed, you're going to see all the apps that I installed. And let's open up Xterm. And here we have, see, we have the volume control here. Okay. And let's just see if my firewall is working. It should be. Let's do sudo uncomplicated firewall status. Let's put my password in. And it's active. And let's do verbose. And everything is good. And now what I'm going to do is log out of here. And there's my mouse on here. It is. I'm going to go into Qtile. And there's my Qtile. Uh, mod key F is going to open up Firefox. Now I haven't uh, hardened Firefox. I haven't done anything with Firefox. So normally what I do is I get rid of all this garbage in Firefox. And I harden it. I go into the settings. And change all the settings to harden it but i'm not going to do that in this video because i don't want this video to be too long right and let's just get out of there and let's go into the i3 window manager let's put my password in and there's the i3 window manager and now i'm going to get out of there well let's just do a mod key f should open up firefox and there's firefox and like i said normally i get rid of all this junk but I'm not going to do that today because I don't want this to be a long video. Let's close it. And let's get out of there. Do I want to exit? Yes. And now we're going to go into Cinnamon. Let's put the password in. And Cinnamon, when you install Cinnamon in pure Arch Linux or in pure Debian, it's really ugly. <laughs> but it's easy enough to configure. Oops, let's get out of there. Let's go into uh, display settings. Let's change this to 1360 by 768. And of course, I'm doing this because it's a virtual machine and the display is always off. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into 
themes and I'm going to go here. Oh, I'm going to add and remove and I'm going to go type in Adara Dark. I'm going to download it. And then go back to themes. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on Adara Dark. And icons, I'm going to click on Papyrus Dark. And here I'm going to click on Matera Dark. And now I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to go here. And I'm going to get some wallpaper. Change desktop background. Let's add. Let's add home. Let's open it. Hmm. Oh, there it is. And let's, let's click on this one. Okay. And then I'm going to go to clock. I'm going to right click it. Well, not right click it. I'm going to main click it. Date and time settings. I'm going to take off the 24 hour clock. I'm going to add display date. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to right click this panel. I'm going to go to applets. I'm going to download it. And it just takes a second. I'm going to click on weather. I'm going to download it. That takes a second. Then I'm going to go to manage. I'm going to click on weather again on this page. I'm going to click on this plus sign. And now I'm going to close it. it is, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to type in fonts. And I'm going to change this to sans bold. And click it up to 12. And then I'm going to close it. And now we have the weather icon down here. Look at this, beautiful. Cinnamon has the best weather icon. Okay. And we have our volume control is up. And we have Firefox. Okay. In here, for internet, I have Firefox, Ramina, to our web browser. I have the full LibreOffice suite. For sound, I have Celluloid, which is for videos. Clip Grab, which downloads videos from the internet, Caden Live, OBS Studio, MPV Player, Rhythm Box for Music, Calculator, Discs, Nitrogen, everything that you need. And this is how I like to theme the Cinnamon desktop environment. And that's it. In this video, I went through a quick install of Arch Linux using the automated installer and I used it just to do a base install and then I made I logged into my new system and I made a user for myself with a password and root privileges or sudo privileges and then I downloaded my GitLab repository and used my post install script to install all my favorite apps window managers and desktop environment and I showed you how I like to configure the Cinnamon desktop environment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.